What's to do is a, a 2 0 defeat on the road, but probably something we really didn't deserve today. No, I thought we dominated the game. I thought they come out well, really well, and we didn't get into our patterns of play and get out. Like we needed to get our centre halves out, which we said. Uh, but look, overall, look. I want to thank the fans first and foremost. They've come, they've sung from minute one to the 95th minute. They've got behind the team and we're going to need that all season. There's a process in place here now, which everyone can see from a football play. The way we played, there's not going to be many teams that come here to Chesterfield and dominate the game. And I think we've come here and dominated it. We know we need a little bit more quality in them products. We haven't worked their goalie enough. But overall, I'm proud of the lads. If you go back six months to where we were as a football club, we were coming here hoping not to lose 3-4-5-0. We've come here today. There's been in the camp that we can actually get something and that's what we've got to keep in the, the camp uh, it's a long season uh, it's two two results that, that we've lost but I think on performance levels if we keep performing to a high level the performances to take care of the results we need just a little bit more quality in the final third uh, the lads worked hard up there today we are looking as everyone knows we are looking to bring in a couple more to add a bit more quality to the group and the biggest thing in football the way I look at it we're not bringing in players to replace players, we're bringing in players to support the players. We need more quality, we need more coming off the bench so that when we get to the 60th minute like we did today before the second went in, because if I'm being honest, when the second goes in, it takes knocks the stuffing out of you and it's game dead if I'm being honest. But up until that point, we were the only team going to score and we just need that little bit of quality. Yeah, and uh, like, as you say, mentioned the fans, how good was it to have them back today? But then also coming as a visiting manager and having, you know, thousands of fans on your back too oh it's brilliant it's what football's about if I'm bland it's, it's going to be a, this is going to be a hard place once they, if they start keep get another win and another win this place will be full and it'll be rocking this will be hostile for most teams coming here I thought we've come here I thought we, we silenced the fans after the, their first goal winning we probably had a 20 25 minute spell and then it just got to half time we probably needed another 8 minutes before half time the fans were starting to turn a little bit against them because we were dominating the game with the ball we have just need a bit more end product uh, and, that, and that's where we're at at the minute did that probably show with their two goals as well because there was a brilliant hook back for their second goal wasn't it and the first goal Look, he's just smashed in isn't he we're in a process in developing players and developing the squad and becoming a club that we can develop and it's going to take time it's not going to happen overnight and you can see from last season where we were to where we are now we're a team that would be competitive against anyone we play against and, I'd, and I, I look at it and I really believe that we'll dominate most games possession wise they're a team and a club and a football club that have the ambition to go get into the football league and probably not just league one league two they're a huge football club they've gone and bought players that are the finished articles to get them there and that's their model and that's where they want to get uh, so and you, you see it today that's the quality it's the end product that they have yep and uh, we go straight into a game Monday against Southend who are probably on live right about now uh, how do you think we can get the veil rocking and really give them a surprise on Monday Oh, 100 percent like i said right at the start of the interview there's a process if we can keep to those performance levels the results will come they always do in football you just got to perform to that high level which the lads are uh we need a little bit of luck in the final third and a little bit of end product and if we get that yeah we, we need to make sure that we feel that vow they're bringing 800 fans so they come we got to make sure we fill it we need 2,000 fans and we need them as loud today like we had three 300 here today and they were so loud they competed in noise wise with 3,000 fans so if if we can get 2,000 fans at the Val and make it rocking, like we've said before, we've got to make it a, a fortress and it's got to be hostile. It's got to be proper hostile. Like for me, let's try and get in the ground 40 minutes before kickoff so that when they're turning out to warm up, it's hostile. We've got to make it hostile and make it a place that teams do not want to come.